What's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again with another LaunchBox tutorial. Today we're going to be covering ScumVM games using the standalone ScumVM emulator. I know a lot of people might want to use RetroArch and I will be doing a video on that very shortly, so stay tuned. But one of the main reasons I'm using the standalone ScumVM emulator is because it comes pre-packaged with LaunchBox and a lot of people might not know this. So inside of your LaunchBox install directory, you should have a ScumVM folder. Inside of here, all you got to do to run ScumVM is start the .exe. There is one application we need to download for this tutorial to work correctly. We're going to head over to the LaunchBox forum and download Epic Fail ScumVM Launcher. It's a really awesome little application. It will scan all of your ScumVM games and create a batch file for each one. Makes it so much easier for importing them into LaunchBox. This also works with RetroArch. But like I mentioned, this tutorial is based on the standalone ScumVM emulator. We're going to download it here. Shouldn't take long at all. And I'm just going to place it on my desktop. The next thing you're going to need are some ScumVM games. I have mine on my desktop right now. They are extracted. They'll look a little something like this. It's a little complicated to import these just like they sit into LaunchBox. That's why we downloaded Epic Fail's awesome application. I'm actually going to take Epic Fail's ScumVM launcher, place it right in with my ScumVM games. Now I'm going to move all my games over to my LaunchBox directory under games. In case I want to make LaunchBox portable, if I ever wanted to bring it over to another system, this is going to make it really easy to do. Now that we have our games and the launcher in your location of choice, we need to launch ScumVM. We're just going to click on the .exe. It does come pre-packaged with LaunchBox. First, we need to add our games to the standalone ScumVM emulator. Then this emulator will create an INI file. Then we can scan that INI file with Epic Fails Launcher and create batch files for each game. So you can add a single game, or if you hold Shift on your keyboard, you can mass add. Yes, I just placed mine inside of my LaunchBox games directory. So I'm just going to go up one and I'll find games, ScumVM games or whatever you named it. And right here, it's going to mass add all of these. Just click choose. Okay. And we have all of these imported into the standalone ScumVM emulator. We can now quit. Now it's time to move over to Epic Fails Launcher. We're going to go back into our games directory, ScumVM Games, and we're going to start the ScumVMLauncher.exe. This may look a little complicated, but it's very easy to use. First, we need to tell this application our ScumVM.exe path. Mine is located in my LaunchBox directory. It's actually on an external drive under ScumVM. I'm just going to double click on the scumvm.exe. Next, we need to load our INI file. Tools, load scumvm.ini. It'll bring us into app data, roaming, scumvm, and here's our INI right here. Double click. It'll load up the games we just loaded in the standalone scumvm emulator. There's a few other options in here like hide duplicates, show duplicates, GUI options, select a filter. Platforms, PC, Windows, Language, English. I just leave everything stock unless I have duplicates. Then I'll just hide duplicates. Now we need to generate those batch files. We're going to go back up to Tools. Generate Launcher Full List. Now you can try the EMU Movies list here, but I find that LaunchBox scrapes the full list a lot easier. Just going to click on this. It's done. So here's our bat files or batch files for each game. And they're going to be located in our games directory wherever we have the scumvm launcher.exe. They're right here. These are what we're going to be importing in the launch box. We're now ready. Let's go ahead and start up launch box. From here, we're going to go to tools, manage emulators. We're going to add a new emulator. That's going to be ScumVM. Emulator name, ScumVM. Emulator application path. 
From here, we're actually going to input Epic Fails ScumVM Launcher. We don't want to use the standalone scumvm.exe. We're going to go to Browse. Mine was located Games. ScumVM Games. ScumVM Launcher.exe. This is Epic Fails Launcher that we downloaded from the forum. Double click. Associated Platforms. From here, we're just going to type in ScumVM. And we're going to make sure that the default emulator is checked. Click OK. Close. And now we can import our ScumVM games. Tools. Import. ROM files. Next, add a folder. We're going to locate the launchers folder with all those batch files that we created. Games. ScumVM games. Launchers. Click OK. LaunchBox will automatically scan that folder for us. Click Next. Platform for imported games, ScumVM. Next, ScumVM should be chosen because we just created this emulator. Next, I'm going to use the files in their current location because I've already placed them in my LaunchBox directory. Would you like to download metadata for your games? I just leave the first one checked. Search for game information from the LaunchBox Games database. Next. From here, you can deselect any artwork that you don't want to download. You might be prompted to sign into EMU Movies. I definitely recommend creating an account over there. Would you like to specify any custom options? We don't need to do anything for this emulator. Next. It's going to tell us the name of the game the location of the game, and the extension. We imported the batch files that were created by Epic Fails ScumVM Launcher. Finish. You'll get a progress bar down at the bottom here. Be patient, let it finish up. When you're done, you'll be prompted. My six games were imported successfully. I'll click OK. Over in the left-hand column, I should now have a ScumVM option right here. And it looks like my six games scraped correctly. Now, one of my favorite games here is Full Throttle. This was remastered, but I like playing the original a little better. All we can do now is start a game. Double click. It's going to open up the ScumVM emulator. Now, we can't just exit by pressing Escape on our keyboard. We do have to hold Control F5. This will bring us into the menu. Resume, Load, Save, Options, Help, About, return to launcher and quit. Under options, there's some audio options, but if we want to get into some graphic options, we'll go to return to launcher. It'll minimize for a second. We're going to go to options and graphics mode. So there's a lot of settings in here. Open GL, HQ 3X, 3X, 2X, leave it on normal. Rendering mode. Go ahead and experiment with this. You might find something you like a little better than normal. Click apply and we're back into the game. So I'm just going to click resume. They don't make games like this anymore. These are really awesome story driven games with full voice acting. You'll be hard pressed to find something like this. That's from a major publisher. A lot of indie guys are still doing this, but these are point and click games. ScumVM plays a lot of these hey, Lucas Art games very here, well. This place is bikers only. <laughs> I'm just gonna hit escape, right. skip this first cutscene. Now, when you're playing these games, don't skip the cutscenes. That's what the games are about. Just want to give you a little bit of gameplay here. They are point and click. Some people might not be into this, and I completely understand. but I still really enjoy playing these. We're gonna head into the kickstand bar. It's closed. And I need to kick this door open. Once you get I, into uh, them, listen to the story, the listen to the voice acting. It was I think a lot of you guys will fall in love with these games well, if you've never tried them trouble. before. Just leave me We're gonna this exit mess. this by holding Control, F5, and quit. Now these games were made to be played with a keyboard and mouse. RetroArch does allow you to use a controller, but I find it cumbersome. Just click quit, 
And that's pretty much it for this video, guys. It's really simple to set up with Epic Fail Scum VM Launcher. I want to give him a big shout out for making that because it makes life so much simpler when importing these games. Like I mentioned, there are some people out there that want to use RetroArch for mainly everything they can. So in the next few days, I will be making a video. We're still going to be using that Scum VM Launcher to create files that are compatible with RetroArch and LaunchBox. We really appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe to the Unbroken Software channel for more great videos. And like always, thanks for watching.